Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this session we are going to learn and discuss about community services in rural, urban and school health and what are the different functions of public health centers. So this topic has been taken from BPharm 6 semester Pharmaceutical Quality Assurance Unit 1. So my dear students, when we talk about the healthcare system in India, it exists in different tiers. Basically, it starts with the sub-centers. So these are the sub-centers which are located in different parts and which actually acts as a connecting center between the primary healthcare system and the community meant. So after the sub-centers are the public health centers. Now they are basically the referral units. So a referral unit for six sub-centers. So uh, initially people approach the sub-centers which are being established in different parts of the rural areas and after that when one person is not able to get the treatment over there then the person is being referred to the primary health centers. Now primary health centers have uh, are actually ranging from four to six bed systems with a proper medical officer in charge and four, 14 subordinate paramedical staff. After a primary health center, if the case is not being resolved, the treatment is not being possible over in the primary health center, then it is being referred to the community health centers, also referred to as CHC community health center. So uh, community health centers are the upgraded hospitals which have uh, bed, 30 bed facilities and they act as a referral unit for four public health centers with specialized services. So in this way in India we have three tire systems first starting from the sub centers then coming to the primary health centers and then moving on to the community health centers in the rural areas. Then talking about the concept of health and wellness centers, these primary health centers have, looks after the provisional cares regarding the primary health levels. They cater to the needs of about 30,000 population areas. So the government of India launched this uh, Ayushman Bharat National Health Promotion Mission. So this mission was targeted with uh, with an objective to have improvement in the health care system and uh, promote the wellness in the primary health centers by having a preventive and promotive and curative approach. So the very first thing with the Ayushman Bharat project was that they wanted to have the more awareness in the people living in the rural areas regarding the sanitation, regarding the clean water uh, awareness so that preventive care is being taken. So if we work basically on the prevention, we are uh, working in a direction to devoid the disease. Talking about the Indian Public Health Services, so this services was being envisioned with the aim of like India's foundation healthcare systems. So existing sub-centers were transformed into the health and wellness centers. So under this 1.5 lakh centers were being under the healthcare system closure to the homes of the people. So these centers were located in different parts of the rural areas. So when they basically looked after the primary health care and these centers were provided with the comprehensive health care including for the non-communicable disease and they specifically specifically looked after the maternal and child health services. So all the immunization services were being provided at these sub centers. So these centers also provided free essential drugs and other diagnostic services which were being required to cater the needs. Talking then next moving on to the sub centers. So the objectives of establishment was to have improvement in the healthcare system and they were oriented and sensitive to the needs of the community. So they basically provided the basic primary healthcare to the community, achieved and maintained an acceptable standard of the quality. So what happened in the earlier times was that the quality was not being able to maintain. So people were not visiting to the sub centers. But now with the increased awareness and advancements in the technologies, people are more aware about the health services being provided at these health centers, primary health centers, community health centers. So with the advancements in technologies, more services are being provided to the people and drugs are being delivered free of cost to these areas. So talking about the minimum requirements, 
assured services to be provided in these service centers so when one person approaches to the sub center what can he expect so the person can visit there for having the antenatal care intranatal care postnatal care the person can have the immunization services for the uh, children then uh, vitamin deficiencies so drugs are being provided to them free of cost then prevention and control of several communicable and non communicable disease like malnutrition infections acute respiratory syndromes diarrhea fever and guidance and counseling is being provided for the family planning and the contraception methods and various several schemes launched by the government of india from time to time like adults and health care scheme are like uh, being um, worked upon there in a true sense apart from that they also provide assistance to the school health education so they carry out visits to the nearby primary schools so that awareness is being created to the child and they are being uh, checked for the regular checkups regular health checkup camps are being organized in the schools as well they also look after the control of local endemic disease such as malaria which happens time to time or like alazar japanese encephalitis filariasis dengue etc also disease surveillance is being measured so disease surveillance simply means the the happenings of the disease at what frequency at what period of the time so such types of the things are being uh, observed and monitored so that they can be controlled when the time comes out also adequate care is being taken care of for the water quality monitoring my dear students now you can understand many of the diseases are uh, happens due to the contaminated water so the uh, we should always have access to the good quality water pure water and apart from that promotion of the sanitary station including the build up of the toilets and the appropriate garbage system is being required apart from that various health volunteers like asha workers they look after the community services provide community sub maintenance record provide awareness and talking about other aspects like the community needs assessment there sometimes it happens a particular specific area gets contaminated so you have to contain the disease and prevent the spread of the disease as well so taking the appropriate and the prompt actions is being required apart from that regular health camp checkups at anganwadi centers are being conducted with the help of these health volunteers implementation of national health programs then the record of vital events maintenance of all the relevant records child and eligible couples in the in that particular area specific area also the public health centers what are the minimum requirements for the public health centers for meeting the these types of the health standards objectives so the primary objective of the public health center is to provide the comprehensive health care services so the approach is to have the preventive promotive and curative services also like they look forward for the achievement and maintenance of an acceptable standards so nowadays with the increased awareness people are uh, understanding the services being provided at these public health centers and they look forward for that and also the people and are more responsive and sensitive to the needs of the community talking further about the medical care opd services are being provided in the morning in the afternoon apart from that they do have the provision for the emergency services referral services in patient services not talking next about the maternal and the child care health including family planning so one of the major task being done by these service centers public health centers in the rural and the urban areas is about creating awareness and providing the necessity guidance and provision for the maternal and the child care health so they look after that in two ways first antenatal care so antenatal cares so diagnostic techniques are being done pregnant women visit the centers they get free of cost to medications vitamins supplements and once the delivery is being done out so they have the 24 hour delivery services both normal as well as the assisted services in the intranatal care part they look after the institutional deliveries appropriate and prompt referral for cases needing specialist cares and once the child is being delivered then postnatal care is again very important so two postpartum home visits first within 48 hours of delivery second within 7 days through sub center staffs and essential newborn care provisions for the facilities and the, the janani suraksha yojana and apart from that several schemes for the uh, for look, looking after the born uh, care and the care of the child emergency care of the sick children full vaccination schedules and family planning awareness guidance are being provided at these public health centers
so my dear students you can understand a lot many important functions is being taken care by the public health centers in the rural and the urban areas as well they also look forward for cases like medical terminations of the pregnancies if required or like management of the reproductive tract infractions sexually transmitted in disease nutritional services school healthcare education system adolescent healthcare system and also the promotion of the safe drinking water and basic sanitation needs prevention and control of the locally endemic disease and surveillance part so all these functions are being performed by several health volunteers with the help of asha workers by having and they even have the provision for the selected surgical procedures like vasectomy tubectomy mtp and other cataract surgeries which are being required by the uh, poor people living in the rural areas and that to under this they are all the surgeries are being carried out free of cost so you my dear students you can understand there are several duties which are being assigned to these health professionals which are engaged in rendering the public health care system so they have to look for the curative approach preventive approach and they are adequately being trained out to solve this purpose as well talking further about the job responsibilities their job is limited not only for the supervision they were yeah, they have to work in the team they have to have the adequate supply of the equipment staff maintain and look after for the several diseases which are up in that particular area from time to time so their primary responsibilities of these health workers especially the female health workers is towards the maintenance and the child health family planning awareness medical termination of pregnancies nutritional requirements universal program for immunization this is one of the major immunization program being carried out by the government of india for looking after the health care of the newborn babies so th that they should be immunized on time and apart from that nowadays the asha workers are also playing a very important role in this sector talking about the male health workers they look after the several communicable diseases like malaria leprosy even they have the several government schemes which look after the uh, in these rural and the urban areas like nowadays you must have seen the dot centers are being developed in all the areas tuberculosis control program immunization programs and leprosy eradication programs so these are the health care programs which are run out to prevent the spread of the disease in these rural and urban areas talking further about the job responsibilities so they have a huge role to play at the sub centers they look after all the national programs whatever programs are being launched by the government of india these healthcare centers looks after the implementation of these national programs apart from that administration and management of the health and wellness centers and health education and creating the awareness about the family planning maternal and the child health and non communicable disease so they have a huge and critical role being played at the sub centers at the primary health centers and community health centers so they work uh, uh, they work hard to have these implementation of all the national programs and they also i sometimes identify the danger signs and referrals and looks after the biomedical waste disposal guidelines and supervision of health workers for the maternal and child health family planning and nutritional related services so my dear students now you can understand the wide role playing by the healthcare staff at the sub centers at the primary health centers and community health centers so when you talk about the national program implementations in the rural areas it is not an easy task so you have to create the awareness you have to guide thereby comes the role of these healthy volunteers like asha workers they work anganwadi workers they work in that direction to raise the awareness so that the, the disease can be eradicated otherwise what will happen the disease will spread out and it will not be remain specific to that area so this again is very important thank you so much for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to pharmacy pedia for getting further updates and other important content related to pharmacy thank you so much